Hello everybody, Puzzle Pieces here, and uh, we're talking to ju Judge uh, Danforth, and uh, he's uh, locked himself into his office, I don't know how. Uh, uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Do you know where I could find a key to your office? Yes, I believe I gave a copy of the key to Alicia Cole as backup. She's just down the hall, I hope she's still here. Okay, so we have to go find Alicia. Look at her face, she's like, what are you doing? Just down the hall. Just down the hall, he said. Are you, no, no, okay, nope, too far down the hall, I guess. Nope. Oh, uh, these directions. Maybe down the other hall. <laughs> There's a random person out there, like, with their arms out for some reason. Okay, down the hall. Are you Alicia? Alicia? Yes, can I help you? Hi, are you Alicia? Hi. So sorry to bother you at this hour, but we're here to meet with Judge Danforth. And he seems to be locked inside his office. He said you might have a key. <laughs> Sorry, I gave him my spare. Unbelievable. Does this ever end? Oh, well then, do you have a paper clip? Yeah, we're gonna go pick the lock. Yeah. And if you don't mind me asking, what business do you two have with the judge? We're... Helping the judge with the case. Anything I can assist you with? I don't know. Can you? Thanks, but I think we got it. No <laughs> need for a lawyer. At oh. Least, not yet. The diploma gave me away, huh? Yeah. Aside from the cold coffee you're still drinking and the deluxe open box of sticky tabs, yeah, you could say I know the type really well. <laughs> Her dad's a lawyer. Nancy Drew. You really are your father's daughter. Yeah. It's nice to finally meet you. Oh, okay, now they know who I am. You know my dad? Small world. If you need any assistance or more paper clips, feel free to ask. Okay, perfect. Thank you. See, Deidre? I can get stuff done, unlike you. Because <sighs> I have connections. You don't. Alright, so let's use this paper clip. Judge Danforth? I couldn't find your key. But we're gonna pick the lock. What? Uh, Alicia said she'd keep a copy for me. Well, I did find a paper clip. I think I can pick your lock, if that's okay with you. Yeah, sure, fine. Okay, this is gonna be interesting now. Whoa! It shouldn't be too much of a challenge. No, 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 bring that other stuff back up. I need to know what it just said. Oh, okay. Hold and drag pin. Feel for the pin that gives resistance. Release when the pin locks in place. Okay. Oh. Hold to drag pin. Okay, here we go, here we go. Alright, so this is obviously a puzzle, so let's see. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Is this a memorizing puzzle, or...? Nope, nope, come on. Feel for the pin that gives resistance. Well, this is giving resistance. That's giving resistance too. Although I could really be doing this wrong because this is a new system. locks in place. Okay, so I have to find one that locks in place. Oh. oh okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. I guess I'm just trying to figure out how this works. This might take me the whole video. Yeah, but that's the thing, it's not staying in place. Feel for the pin that gives resistance. Release when the pin locks in place. stayed. Okay. Okay, let's try it. Going very slowly. Okay, this seems to be working now. This seems to be working now, so... Oh no! No, my progress! Uh. Okay, so now I get the idea. Oh, okay, so it was a thing. Okay, so this one's first. That one was first, then this one, then this one. Okay, I understand. I get it. It's giving me the most resistance because it's going slow. That's why. Need to make that a little more clearer there, uh, her, her interactive. Yeah, because this one's going slow now. There we go. And this one. Okay. Ha! Still got it. Yeah, don't cheer too Efficient. much. Efficient. How did you learn to do that, actually? I am a detective! <laughs> this is what I do. Sure. That One too. day you have to tell me about your secret life of breaking and entering, Drew. No. It's in danger of being cool, which honestly I just don't like. Uh, sure, thanks. Someday. Okay, let's go talk to the judge. Okay, we got five minutes. Let's go talk to the judge. Oh, pff, you look like a judge. <laughs> ah, those protesters are. Stirring the pot. You know, this town used to be a quiet place. Mm -hmm. it seems lately there's been an element that has infiltrated our community. I have no doubt one of those troublemakers locked my door and threw away the key. Now, Nancy, your father and I have discussed. That's not Nancy. I'm Nancy. Oh, sorry. I'm not Nancy. Yeah. 
Of course you're not. You look nothing like Carson. <laughs> oh, burn. Did your father ever tell you about the time we won fourth place at the Lake Winnipesaukee Regatta? <laughs> you see, at the time I had 2010 vision, so I was the navigator and... Judge, this is Deirdre Shannon. She's working with me on the case. Deirdre, you're the one who tried to break down my door. <gasps> break down? Break down? Your honor, that's an exaggeration. I heavily... Look, I'm really busy dealing with this Hathorne House business. Uh, being a judge is not as simple as, uh, you know, investigating during your free time. <sighs> well, we just used our free time to unlock your door. So I'm sure oh. you'll be willing to repay us with some answers to our questions. Mm -hmm. She has a point. <clears throat> yes, of course. She has Can some I help point. You girls Okay, uh... Can you explain to us how you're involved with the Hathorne House? Well, What's with yes. the glare? The house was built by Judge John Hathorne during the 1600s. Uh-huh. And it represented the oldest surviving structure from that era. Mm hmm Judge Hathorne, of course, was one of the three judges that presided over the Salem Witch Trial. Mm-hmm. Yes, and I'm sure we can read all about the home's history in Salem's Museum. Okay, Deidre, shut up. More recently, Francis Tuttle, Judge Hathorne's last direct descendant, lived in a small section of the house while the rest was left to fall into considerable disrepair. Oh. She was alone, except for a part-time caregiver, Lauren Holt. Lauren Holt. Who had Holt. a bedroom in the carriage house. Okay. <clears throat> A few months ago, Francis Tuttle passed away, oh. which left Hathorne House without a legal heir. According to the historical statutes of Salem, after 90 days, the house reverts to public property. Okay. The deadline of which is two days from now, ah. at midnight. Of course. Um... I was told that the burning of Hathorne House is suspected to be a case of arson. How did the police come to that conclusion? Mm -hmm. The investigation found paint solvent residue on burnt embers, suggesting someone deliberately used an accelerant. Okay. Thankfully, Mrs. Tuttle never had to see what became of her home. True. And what evidence do you have that May Perry is the one responsible for this? Yeah. Evidence? Have you ever heard of recidivism? Three out of four criminals in the United States are repeat offenders. Oh. And there's only one person in all of Salem who has a history of fire-related crime. Oh, I see. So, there is no evidence. Yeah, you just said, oh, it must be her. You're scapegoating her. But there will be. Why would you- You don't need evidence. She's already been convicted in the court of public opinion. Is that what she said? No. I'm saying it. She has a history with this sort of thing. What's May's motive? You'd have to ask her. And while you're at it, you can ask about her alibi, which she refused to give to the police. Mm -hmm. So, any other questions? <sighs> so the Book of Apologies. Why did you really need it? He needs it? <clears throat> I've done plenty of work for my father. You trust me. I can handle Yes, I'm sure you can. So, I've already heard some stories, but would you mind giving me your version of why the book is important? Yes, so. <laughs> Judge Sewell was rumored to keep a ledger of all the accused intending to publish it to reconcile with their families and clear their names. Yes. But he passed away before he could do so. Mm-hmm. Going to Austria for a rumored book seems like a heck of a long shot. <laughs> well, I have been under some pressure from the AW group. AW as in accused witches. Hmm. 
Don't you think it's dangerous throwing around May's name as a suspect before any evidence links her to the crime? Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? What are you saying? From what you've described, there is no evidence against May. Yeah. Yet you were saying that she did it. I just... It is not just me, Miss Drew. There are plenty of people who believe that May is responsible for this crime. It is not prejudice when she is the only likely suspect. Actually, that is the definition of, of prejudice. prejudice. Exactly. I'm not going to have this debate with you. Is there anything else? Yeah, you want to talk to my dad about this? Okay, so in the next video, we're going to keep talking to the judge, um, but otherwise, uh, hope you're enjoying this. I'm getting a little bit of a better feeling with this game. Um, still having issues with it, but um, what can you do? So, this is Puzzle Pieces, signing off.